Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's make it official. From this day on, I will be everything that you need And I won't let anyone or anything come between you and me Cause this love we got is deeper than oceans My heart is yours and you know this I'll follow you where you're going Cause that's what my home is Don't do it, I will okay? Don't do it, Ready or not, here I come. God. Holy shit. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Wow, you look incredible. You just had luck to kiss before the ceremony. Oh, I don't know. I mean, just, you did it. <laughs> you, look, you look incredible. Did you like it? Very pretty. Is it what you expected? Yeah. What? Yeah. You assumed this is what I was going to do? Yeah, you should. Sure? Like, <laughs> 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 That's what we do. We're doing this for. I like the tie and make sure it matches your eyes. Thank you. We got a little something. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's make it official. As dear friends and family, you have helped support their relationship from the very beginning. And by witnessing their marriage ceremony today, Ashley and Andre ask you to share in their future. He might have said it first, beat me to the punch, boy. Three little words that sum up the way you look at me, babe. someone to present the bride in marriage. Who presents the bride in marriage today? Her mom and I. You may all be seated. Jay, Jane, Frank, and Gloria, Andre and Ashley have asked me to publicly express their love and appreciation to you, their parents for all the love and guidance that you have given them. Andre, when you are ready, please begin. Ashley, from the moment we met, I knew our connection was something special. Over the past six, well, five years, five months, and however many days, we've grown together, sharing laughter, tears, and countless unforgettable moments. You've seen me at my best and my worst, yet you've always been by my side, offering your unwavering support and love. I love how you can turn any situation into an adventure and how you smile, how your smile can light up even the darkest of days. I promise to mix up our vacations so they don't always revolve around fishing, boating, 
or another tropical destination with ice cold margaritas because that just sounds terrible. I promise to always offer help right as you're finishing what you're doing. <laughs> when we travel, I vow to let you have the middle seat, even though I know the person next to us wishes I'd take it instead. But that's true love, right? <laughs> Today, I choose you to be my partner for life. I promise to love you unconditionally, to share my joys and my fears with you, and to grow old with you. You are my heart, my soul, and my home, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. <laughs> Did I do good? <laughs> Ditto. <laughs> Please begin when you are ready. Today, I marry my best friend, the one I laugh with, live for, dream with, and love. Andre, before I met you, I just wasn't sure there were any good ones left that were meant for me. I was building a life that I was proud of, and the fiercely independent part of me was determined to make a great playoff on my own. Then I met you in God's perfect timing, and our lives complemented each other so well. We are both fortunate to have a close relationship with our families, and that's not something everyone can understand, but for us, it's a bonus. I remember it like it was yesterday, meeting your entire family for the first time on Thanksgiving, just less than a month after I met you. At the end of the day, right as we were pulling out of your parents' subdivision, it hit me. I was falling head over heels for you and for your family too. I turned to you and I said, so are we boyfriend and girlfriend yet? And with, without a second of hesitation, you said, I thought we already were. My relationship with you has blessed me with brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, and friends that feel more like family, all of which make my only child heart so happy. It has blessed me with nieces and nephews that allow me to experience the purest love I've ever known. And it has blessed me with an extra set of parents that have loved and accepted me as their own from the start. I've realized that love isn't always flowers, cards, and gifts. It's doing the dishes when life <laughs> gets too overwhelming for me and I can't keep up. It's always thanking me whenever I cook for us. It's putting the laundry away after I fold it because you know that's my least favorite part. It's being the best boat trailer driver I've ever seen and having the patience to try to teach me. The most upset you ever get with me is when I ask you to put your CPAP on when you're already half asleep. <laughs> and if that's what I have to look forward to for the rest of my life, I think we'll be okay. You're patient, cool, calm, and collected when I'm completely opposite. You push me to take risks that I wouldn't normally take, and I love that. Thank you for loving me on my darkest and messiest days, as well as my brightest. I vow to encourage you to continue to dream big while also balancing us out with my practicality. I vow to kill all the spiders and roaches that cross our path as long as you take care of the snakes and lizards. I vow to remind you when you're not feeling your best that you're an incredible human being with the biggest heart. And I'm so proud of the man that you are. It's not lost on me that I'm fortunate to be marrying my favorite person in any room. I get to spend the rest of my days laughing and loving you. So let's keep having fun. Let's keep chasing our dreams. And here's to spending the next 50 plus years with our best friend. Ashley, I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. Andre, I give you this ring. Andre, I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. Neither shall my love for you. Neither shall my love for you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Andre, you may kiss your bride. I present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Andre Cervoni. Father, we just ask your blessings upon them as they go about this part of their lives. Again, we ask your blessings upon everyone here. We ask these things in Christ's name for his sake. Amen. introduced for the second time tonight as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Cervoni.
I've been given a time limit. Like seven minutes. I can't introduce myself in seven minutes. And on top of that, you know what? I've waited a long time to do this. And I will tell you right off the bat, there's a couple of things I'm going to say in here um, that my eyes may water up a little bit that has nothing to do with emotion. I found out here a while back that alcohol makes my eyes water. When this child was born, I thought two things right off the bat. Wow, look at all that hair. <laughs> and then I thought, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. The alcohol is kicking in in my eyes. <laughs> and I will say, I still feel that way. And tonight, she has been the absolute most beautiful bride I've ever seen. Sorry, Jane, you are very close second. <laughs> you know, I will say, in all seriousness, when you marry someone, for those of y'all who have been down this road, you don't just marry your spouse. You marry your family. You marry an entire family. And I cannot be more thankful tonight that she has married into the family that she has. Between the two couples, Frank and Gloria and Jane and I, we've been married for a combined number of 89 years. Um, feel free. And, you know, I'm just going to tell the two of you, in a total of 89 years, there are things that we certainly did right. There are things we could have done a lot better. And the difference is you work through those things and you work together to get through those things. And if you don't work together to get through them, you won't. But if you do, you can accomplish anything and you can get over any mountain that you, that you encounter. And I have no doubt that the two of you are going to do that. I thank you for indulging me. And I just want to say one more thing to Ashley directly. I love you very much. It's about time now. Will you please get on Andre's cell phone plan? <laughs> and toast this wonderful couple to many, many years of a very, very happy marriage. We love you both very, very much. Cheers. Thank you.